Congratulations, members. I'm really excited, really excited to get to work. I'm also nervous, you know, nervous about what's, what's to come. With the drop of the gavel, the 2023 legislative session has now begun. The only way we will get legislation passed is if we all focus on the goal of supporting Vermonters. The ceremonial first day of the 2023 legislative session, beginning with Representative Jill Krowinski sworn in as Speaker of the House. As your Speaker, I remain committed to leading the legislature and passing legislation that protects historically marginalized populations and gives equal access and opportunity to all the resources our state has to offer. Up next, the 150 members of the House, 50 of them for the first time. One of those first timers is Chris Taylor of Milton. I've, I've been involved with local government for many years on the local select board in Milton. Uh, and I felt like, you know, I, I appreciate helping on a local level. Uh, wanted to try to get to the state level here and see if I could do it on a state level. Over in the Senate, Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray wrapped up her time in the state house, and Senator Phil Baruth was sworn in as Senate President Pro Tem. The mental health crisis, the ongoing COVID pandemic, the opioid epidemic, the housing crunch, global warming, and gun violence, childcare deserts. The challenges our seniors face, aging in place, these are all only part of what we'll face together. With state senators and representatives now sworn in, on Thursday it will be Governor Scott's turn where he will take the oath for the fourth time before delivering his inaugural address. Other officials that will also be sworn in tomorrow is Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman, Attorney General Charity Clark and Vermont's new Secretary of State. Live in Montpelier, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.